This video summarises the main findings of the UK Fashion Trial that compared hip arthroscopy to best conservative care for the treatment of femoroacetabular impingement syndromes. Hip arthroscopic surgery has become an established treatment for femoroacetabular impingement. When this trial was designed, it was unclear whether arthroscopy was superior to exercise-based conservative care. The primary aim was to estimate the average effect of hip arthroscopy compared with physiotherapist-led best conservative care on hip-related quality of life in adults with femoroacetabular impingement. 348 participants were recruited from 23 national health service hospitals in the United Kingdom. The main inclusion criteria were radiographic features of CAM or pincer morphology, but no osteoarthritis, believed likely to benefit from hip arthroscopy and aged at least 16 years. Participants were stratified by impingement type and centre. 171 were randomised to hip arthroscopy and 177 to physiotherapist-led best conservative care. Allocation was concealed. Arthroscopy was performed by senior surgeons. Participants were discharged once they could wait bear using crutches, generally within 24 hours of surgery. They were referred for a course of outpatient physiotherapy as per usual care. Hip medical resonance imaging was performed six weeks post-surgery. The physiotherapist-led best conservative care had four key elements. First, an assessment of pain, function and range of motion. Second, education. Third, an exercise program that was taught in the clinic and performed at home that had an emphasis on individualization and progression. And fourth, help with pain relief that could include one intra-articular steroid injection if pain prevented performance of the exercise program. Subjects received six to 10 sessions over 12 to 24 weeks. The primary outcome was hip-related quality of life measured using the 100-point international hip outcome tool 12 months after randomization. 100 represents no pain and perfect function, and lower scores indicate pain and poor function. Outcome assessors were blinded to group allocation. 92% of participants were followed up, and analysis was by intention to treat. The mean difference in international hip outcome tool scores, adjusted for impingement type, sex, baseline score and centre, were 7 points in favour of hip arthroscopy. The 95% confidence interval was 2 to 12. The point estimate and much of the 95% confidence interval exceeded the minimum clinically important difference of 6 points. There were 5 serious adverse events related to hip arthroscopy. Hip arthroscopy led to a greater improvement in hip-related quality of life than physiotherapy-led best conservative care, and this difference was clinically worthwhile. Further follow-up will reveal whether the clinical benefits of hip arthroscopy are maintained and whether it is cost-effective in the long term. Mm -hmm.